Kirby absorbed you, what power would he get? <laughs> Depression, <laughs> laziness, procrastination, sadness, <laughs> hunger, because <laughs> I'm always snacking, and that's why I gained 20 pounds. I would always pick Kirby in Super Smash Bros, whatever it's called now. I always played him just because I like swallowing people. <laughs> it's hilarious. And then Yoshi was also my favorite. Comment below which character you played. <laughs> Chemistry teachers, when you mix water and food coloring without putting on safety goggles. <laughs> Do you want to explode? Do you want to burst into flames and burn down this whole building and kill everybody? Put on your goggles. Like, calm down. It's water. We won't die. <laughs> We're not even doing anything with fire. I remember one time throughout my whole like school experience where we actually used a Bunsen burner for an experiment. Besides that, it was always just like cutting up a frog. Like, I don't think we're gonna burn down the school by cutting open a worm. <laughs> I accidentally called God babe while I was praying today and it was more awkward than you think. Like, what's up, babe? Wait, I am so sorry. <laughs> like, chill. I think Sky Daddy is cool with being called babe. It's a term of endearment. Like, sorry, Sky Daddy, please forgive me. <laughs> Hoodies are one of the most powerful and underappreciated articles of clothing. They really are. You can wear them to anything, especially if you're Billie Eilish. You can literally wear it on the red carpet. Cold? Put on a hoodie. Raining? Put on a hoodie. No bra? You guessed it. Hoodie. <laughs> Nothing to wear? Hoodie. Crippling low self-esteem? You already know it. The hoodie. <laughs> that should be a rapper name. It probably already is. <laughs> it's so versatile. <laughs> and it's just cozy. <laughs> My fat butt thought this was fancy ham. <laughs> It does look like ham. Because they serve gold covered steak at those fancy restaurants, why not ham? It's a freaking rose quartz. I've never seen rose quartz with gold on it though. So that's my bad. I wanna eat it though. Don't tell Matt, but I had a rose quartz in my pocket on our first date so he'd call me. <laughs> not sure what's more awkward. The fact that I said I love you to the pizza guy after he took my order on the phone or the fact that he showed up with breadsticks shaped like a bouquet. <laughs> Either way, we're dating now. We legally are married as of this moment. <laughs> Pizza was the reception dinner. <laughs> we didn't need cake, we had breadsticks. And the brownie chocolate cake thingy they serve at Pizza Hut, cause that thing's good. I used to think the D in the Disney logo was a backwards G. So did I. It's so weird looking. That's not even how you do a proper D in cursive, I don't think. Or I'm just dumb, or both. When you remember something embarrassing you did and it's only been 15 years, so you know everyone is still thinking about it. <laughs> it has to be a minimum of like 50 years to a lifetime for everyone to forget about it. You know what, actually no one forgets. They literally just have to die off until they just stop spreading the story about you and how you said you too to the waiter when he said enjoy your food. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, everyone still talks about you. <laughs> I'm kidding, calm down, don't cry. <laughs> or am I? When someone taps you on the shoulder and pretends it wasn't them. Wow, comedy gold, you you should do stand up. That was hilarious, so original. Please marry my daughter. Like, wow, that joke hasn't been done a million times already. Please do it again. <laughs> a tragedy, when your hair wash cycle doesn't coordinate with an event and you overestimate the amount of time in which your hair can last without being washed. So you show up just looking like a greasy mop. <laughs> It looks so bad. I get so depressed because I'm like, okay, I guess I have to wash my hair, but it's not gonna look as good. Cause fight me, but the second day hair is the best. It is perfect, not frizzy anymore. Cause after you wash it and dry it, it's frizzy. So the second day is when a little bit of oil mixes in and it looks smooth and perfect. Like my hair right now, I just got it done yesterday. So today, this is perfect. I wish it could be like this forever. The human body has seven trillion nerves and some people manage to get on every single one of them. Like, it's a talent at this point, how angry you make me. That's that same person. Soon as they start talking, you just get that twitch of irritation. <laughs> me when I'm chilling and then randomly get hit with 25 emotions at once. I think that is a, some kind of mood disorder, <laughs> a mental disability of some kind, maybe? <laughs> That's just a guess. <laughs> you might want to get that checked out. Nobody ever reads the rules for Monopoly except when an argument breaks out. Like, okay, as soon as you start losing, that's when we start following the rules. Okay, makes perfect sense. That's the same with Uno. I don't think anyone actually knows the rules to Uno. You just play and try not to beat each other up, even though you do. 
Dude, I have something really funny to tell you. Adult walks in the room. Hold on, I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, so like, you know, the adult is gonna judge you or rat and snitch on you to your mom. When you wanna hang out with people, but your perpetual self-doubt makes you feel like you're not really part of the group and they just tolerate you. <laughs> Guys, if they have asked you to hang out like ever, they like you, relax. <laughs> If that person didn't like you, they would never hang out with you. Simple. Unless they're as passive aggressive as me. <laughs> when you know you failed a test, but at least it's over. <laughs> like, I knew that test was gonna be so hard, just impossible to pass. So it's like, why even try? Soon as you turn it in, it's like, okay, I'm done. Stress is off. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Do better next time, who cares? <laughs> Do you ever just like flex your foot wrong and it cramps and you're just like, yep, this, this is it. This is how I end take me like my heart stops and I try to just not move and I breathe so hard to see if my body relaxes and most of the time it goes away right before it hits really bad and I'm just like <gasps> okay it's like when you're about to sneeze but then it just stops <laughs> and you're just saying they're like <laughs> isn't it funny how things don't go bad until you tell people <laughs> that's why I don't tell people about like big things that are gonna happen for me until it actually happens because half the time it doesn't work out after I already told everyone about it. When a teacher touches you like, bruh, get your hands off me. You literally just failed me. <laughs> like the audacity. You trying to catch a case? No, back off before I call 911. <laughs> when you gotta get up for school and you sit on the bed for like 20 minutes like this. <laughs> Cause you're tired, you're trying to like wake up still and it's freezing. So you're just like, okay, I'll get up in a minute. <laughs> I do not miss being a kid, having to get up for school every day. Literally the worst. When you try to hug her, but she's still mad at you, <laughs> like, bruh, back off. Tread carefully. <laughs> just offer her food. Say you'll take her to go get Chick-fil-A and just get her in the car. She'll be fine after she eats some nuggets. <laughs> Me introducing bad ideas to my friends. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously, unless you're down. Like, <laughs> no, we don't have to, unless you want to. So what we doing? <laughs> Little kids, when they fall down and get hurt, they literally think about it for a second and they're like, do I want to be hurt and cause a scene or do I not? And cue the screaming. <laughs> they scream bloody murder, even when they're fine. They just want to be dramatic. But anyways, that's just my opinion. <laughs> and that's it for memes. Comment below which one was the funniest. And as always, subscribe, turn on all notifications for the channel, follow me on social media. Links are down below and I'll see you tomorrow.